The social media group is on a mission to crack a decades-old cold case. The murder of Grinnell College student Tammy Zawicki Saturday would have marked her 50th birthday. Iowa's News Now anchor Symphony Sherman speaks with Tammy's mother, one of the people on the quest for answers in this latest installment of Iowa's Unsolved. It's been a tough day for friends of Tammy Zawicki here at Grinnell College. The campus is dotted with these yellow ribbons, and this morning a prayer vigil was held. But as students wait for a positive identification of the body found yesterday, there's a feeling that those prayers might not have been answered. Just getting the call, it was like, this can't be happening. It's something no parent can fathom. Your child heads back to college and is murdered. But for the Zawickis, that's exactly what happened back in 1992. It was like total shock and just kind of, well, where do we go from here? What do we do now? And wondering what happened. 21 year old Tammy Zawicki, a Grinnell College student, was vacationing with her family. She then made the trip to Iowa. It started with her car breaking down on I 80 near LaSalle, Illinois, on August 23rd, 1992. Tammy's parents wondered why she hadn't called to check in like she always did. They kept making calls, trying to find anyone who knew where she could be. On September 1st, 1992, her body was found in Missouri. Everything just started moving really fast after that. An autopsy revealed Tammy was stabbed and sexually assaulted. She was a warm and friendly individual, uh, tough, disciplined what I, the term I used, uh, I call her my princess. I've called her that for a long time. Nearly three decades later, and her mom, Joanne, is still wondering who killed her daughter and why. This doesn't need to keep going on like this. If you know something, let's close it and, and find an end to it, and hopefully it will give us some peace, and it will also give Tammy peace. Twelve years ago, something happened that re-sparked hope for Joanne. Patrick Jones, a stranger and a father of two girls that reminded him of Tammy, couldn't stop thinking about her case. That led to the creation of this page. My wife every day, and I'm not joking, every day my wife, we talk and she'll go, somebody knows something today or somebody's going to post something today or um, we got some good information a while back and she was just so hopeful every day, just wake up and say, today's the day, you know. And hopefully one day she's going to say it and it will be the day. Now there's more than 1,700 members and posts welcoming new people coming weekly. At one point, we were so happy we had 100 members and everybody's jumping up and down saying, hey, we got 100 members and I think we got a little more now. The goal is to use this page as a resource to keep Tammy's case alive and find new details but it also serves as a tool for other families looking for answers. And for Tammy's mom, even if she doesn't get the answers she wants, helping others is helping her through her dark days. We said all along that we're doing it for Tammy, but we're also doing it for all the other missing and uh, murdered women out there and hope that we can do something about it. 70 Sherman, Iowa's News Now.